my last video I stated that uh, the gun was on its way back the gun being the bull armory SAS 2 ultralight uh, that was coming back to me and it wouldn't be here until maybe Monday or Saturday uh, when they shipped it out it was Thursday I got an updated um, tracking slip stating that uh, the gun was on its way on Friday with an estimated delivery date of Monday morning between 9 and 1 p.m. Uh, well, I was sleeping and uh, when I woke up today, I woke up late, probably about 10, 30, 11 o'clock, went down the stairs, there was a box waiting for me. Um, and this was it. I got it two days early, um, which was quite the surprise. <clears throat> the gun came to me in a plastic case which I was not expecting um, I sent the gun in a cardboard box it came back in this didn't really need this because I don't really use the cases but yeah, there you go there's an extra case um, I installed the, the optic back on the gun um, they said they test fired it um, I did clean it up a bit. I opened it up, um, took the slide off, took the barrel out uh, because I wanted to look and see if there was any difference from, you know, any visual difference between, you know, when I gave it to them and now. Um, I can't see any difference, but uh, the key thing is, is that the grip safety is now working as intended. If the gun is clear, by the way. release this there you go so I do have the magazine in the gun this is the magazine that that um that went to bull armory with the gun um, so let's demonstrate here the gun is cocked as you can see there hammer is not dropping that's great that's what it's supposed to do so I did not see any visual difference. Um, so I know that they said that they uh, they mucked around with the uh, feed ramp. Uh, they polished the feed ramp uh, and the chamber. Um, and they did a general inspection or everything else. Made some slight adjustments to the gun. A basic tune-up. Uh, whatever they consider a tune-up. I did list everything that they said that they did in the last video. Um, uh, so today, um, uh, I, I really want to go to the range and, and shoot a couple of boxes of ammo through it. Um, but again, what I was complaining about has been fixed. Um, but until I shoot a couple of boxes through it, I'm not going to carry it. So I wanted to show footage of yeah, a quick, uh, video snippet of, what the optics plate and the cut on the slide look like after a thousand rounds shot through the gun so even though I have that that optic plate tightened down to spec uh, using a uh, Loctite that I usually let sit overnight um, you could tell like that there's there's uh, some slight play um, because you can see some wear of sliding of that plate against the uh, the slide you can see it on the plate and a little bit on the slide as well um, in my opinion they probably need to start adding an additional lug you know cut into the gun and maybe generate some optics plate that have two lugs uh, so that people can quit complaining about the issue or thinking that you know eventually it's gonna let go again um, there's plenty of folks on the subreddit uh, that say that they've, they're not having issues and they have thousands of, round through the, thousands of rounds through the gun. I am one of those folks. Um, so you, you'll probably, you know, if you read those forums or those subreddits, you'll, you'll see someone saying, hey, I'm, I'm not having an issue and I've got thousands of rounds through the gun. Uh, one of those will probably be me. Um, I'm not going to share my, uh, my username, but, uh, 
if I if I don't have any problems with the gun, I'm going to share that I don't have any problems with the gun. Um, I'm looking at the the grip safety there. There's something I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if it got gummed up. A little bit rough on the side. I'm not sure what that is. They did say that they altered the uh, the grip safety, so I'm not sure what they mean by alter. Um, it does appear that it's sticking out more. See, there's no cut on that side. And when I say cut, looks, you know, there's some wear between the grip and the grip safety there. There's also some wear on this side, but it looks like there is a, it's a line or something there. I'm not sure what that, those are. That could be their uh, marks of them kind of doing whatever they did. Uh, I'm not so concerned about that. Uh, but we will be taking the gun to the range in the next couple of days. And we will include footage of that range visit. Um, so I'm currently carrying S15 wearing it now um, I'm thinking about going ahead and ordering another Curtom holster specifically for this gun right now I swap between the two but if I swap because the grip and this gun is hot so <clears throat> the rail on this gun is a lot thicker and so I have to make adjustments for that on the holster here which means that <clears throat> this has wider gap Go ahead and drop this so it doesn't doesn't snick into place so every time I swap these two I have to make changes to the uh, the tension and that's a little anno of an annoyance because I do use Loctite when I do that uh, so the best thing to do would prob probably be to just get another holster uh, which is kind of sad because they just had their holiday uh, blemish sale and I you know if I wanted one I could have gotten one in but I just never thought about that right uh, so but for now um, again I'm going to keep carrying this gun until there is no worry with this gun and the biggest worry that I have is is that they did all these extra changes and, and tuning and things to where I want to ensure that the changes that they introduced aren't going to affect the gun any. I, I think that's a, a, a kind of a smart decision, but one or two boxes is just a range visit if I don't have any issues, and I can swap back if I want to. Uh, if I swap back, then it will be this turn for this gun to go somewhere to get uh, uh, manipulated for an optics cut on the slide. Um, but basically, that's it. Gun is back. I am happy for it. Uh, once again, after carrying the, the Alpha Foxtrot, I'm picking up this gun and I'm amazed and and just, it, it's super light. Even when, uh, when I went down the stairs and saw that I had a delivery, I hadn't looked at the packing slip yet. I picked it up and I was like, there's nothing in this box. And then I saw it was from Bull Armory and I'm like, oh, it's ultralight. And I was like, damn. I was like, this thing is just, it always amazes me. And it usually does this, whether it's got a full mag or not uh, usually when I'm going between one gun to another excuse the sirens here so when I'm going between one gun to another is when I can really feel the lack of heft mass uh, it's a great gun to carry but the biggest difference between this gun and S15 is this one's a lot thicker and I'm gonna I'm gonna feel it um, which is why I'm kind of <laughs> I'm not really wanting to go back I knew this was gonna happen uh, I knew that I was gonna get so used to the S15 and carrying it and you know getting used to its uh, uh, slim girth that I was gonna want to keep carrying it and I do 
Um, I really don't even need an optic. Um, I would like one just to be able to kind of have the extra advantage of, you know, that optics give you. Um, but really, I shoot it, I shoot it pretty well, even with the irons. Um, granted, again, you know, I carry for protection, and so I don't know how I'm going to perform if I really need to kind of use the gun uh, in self-defense. Um, everyone says that they're ready until they get punched in the face, right? So uh, all plans kind of go out the window. You get caught out, and I'm not going to say, you know, everyone wants to use that little bit of internet bravado and kind of say, well, I'm prepared, I'm prepared. Uh, you're probably not as prepared as you think you are, um, which is why we train, right? So, um, so yeah, um, I'm happy that I got it back early. Uh, that gives me today or tomorrow to go to the range. Uh, I be, I'll be going on a trip out of country next Thursday, so I I have until between now and, and Wednesday night to kind of do what I have to do with this gun. Otherwise, I'm going to have to put it off for another week. Uh, but anyways, uh, I'm, I'm happy.